going, Corn. All right, everyone. Welcome to today's video. We just had a grueling day uh, hiking around, trying to hunt antelope close to. It was about seven miles, like six point eight. Um, hot, sweaty, nasty. Got on too. But anyways, what we want to do is we have some backstrap from my North Dakota whitetail in here, and uh, we could fry up some mountain houts and stuff. But we thought. It'd be kind of be fun to do like catch and cook on a whitetail, even though we have like no seasoning. We have a pan, but we have no seasoning or anything. We didn't think about that, but we're going to get everything out and uh, see if we can't fry it off. This thing's actually pretty sweet. Super old. I think you, you, this is probably like 20 years old. It's my dad's. But I think they still sell them. Just like this. All right, we just spun around because we had a bunch of people drive by and the dust keeps getting everywhere. And we had some guys stop by that recognize the channel. So thank you to those guys that stopped. Anyways, back to scheduled programming. There's just like, if you've never done your own deer or anything, and this is the back strap, so it runs right alongside the spine, essentially. Um, kind of doing a quick job at this, but anyways, it runs right alongside the spine, right above the ribs. It's like the best part of the deer. You're supposed to take this film, white filmy stuff off. It just makes it really chewy. Like I said, we have nothing. We have no olive oil, no seasoning, nothing. So all I'm gonna do is just stick them out and just fry them up and we'll just see how they taste. And if they taste terrible, which they won't, then oh well. Literally anyone could drive out here anywhere and buy an antelope tag, park on the side of the road. Some guy that parked up on top, he slept in the back of his truck top. It's super common. And uh, literally, this is one of the most budget friendly hunts you could possibly do. It was like 300 bucks all said and done for a tag. You spend, you know, if you're from, you know, 10 hours away, let's say, you spend two, 300 bucks on gas and food. You know, that's not a bad trip at all. So that's what we love doing. I love doing it at least. I like figuring it out, trying to figure it out by myself. You're not one of those weird people that like it like super well done. No. No, okay. It's not bad. You zoom in on that. This is like a one bite, everyone knows the rules. It's good. A little gaming. That's pretty good though. Definitely a little gaming. But definitely not the worst. But I bet these are done too. Bumblebee. See that? A 
be in the middle of nowhere. Landed on my neck. Recording. Okay. All right, we're gonna. Sun's going down. We only probably have two and a half hours of daylight, so we're gonna shoot bow a little bit and then probably drive around and see if we can't find an antelope. At least do some scouting for tomorrow morning. Um, we're gonna stretch this bow out and um, see how it does at 100. Hopefully it hits. Skipped off the left side. Huh. Ooh, way left again. Let's shoot let's shoot one at eighty or something. I don't know what's going on. I'm just hitting left. Something must have got bumped. Alright, back on track, back to 100. Should be fine now. There is a little right to left wind, but I don't think it's that much. <laughs> that one hit the white dot. All right, so we are just like eight inches to the left at 100. And that target down there is very small. Good backstop. This is not proper attire. The attire. Okay, not that bad. Not awesome. We can do way better this time. Gonna try to get some in the dock. Uh, right. Pooh, where? Right 
Now they're hitting right. In all reality, I'm pretty happy if I can hit this block every time because it's literally like the block's like this big. Yeah, that was good. Okay, that was a white dot. That guy's getting on any help. I think I see him. Oh. Perfect. That one should be right. That was a quick shot. <laughs> <laughs> I was not ready for that one. Way relaxed. That one went off. Not bad, not awesome, better than last time. Oh, let's go. One in the dot, I have no idea what I was doing on those. That group's not bad, but we can definitely do way better. We're gonna shoot one more. That's probably gonna be too dark. Last one. We got to make a good group. I know we can do way better. Each well, each end was better than the last. And there was a little left still. Yeah, pretty good. Drop my binos and they're all jacked up now. Oh yeah, that hit the dot. It's perfect. It just takes me 10 arrows. Get going.
ponte lá. I'll save that last one so you can take some photos. Okay. Money. A little low. It's a real good group down there though. Okay. Well this was a way better group. Definitely the best group so far. Everything, well, everything probably would have hit a pie plate, like a paper plate for sure. That's always what I go for at like 100 yards. So I am super stoked about this. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching kind of the update in the field video. This is gonna get turned around really quick, hopefully. And uh, we're antelope hunting tomorrow. And then up next, after that, is elk in Colorado. So, super jacked, super excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next one.